If you have a small space to garden and grow in, then growing strawberries vertically in towers like these might be a really good option for you. I've had these Dollar Tree strawberry towers set up for three growing seasons now, and I'd like to share uh, some videos of how I built them and a few things I like and don't like about them that might help you if you're looking to use something similar. First of all, they are much cheaper than other options on the market if you get them from Dollar Tree. I'll include the link to the item in the description. In my area, I had to order a case of them and have them delivered to my Dollar Tree store, which was free. Uh, so I had to wait a couple weeks and the case came with 36 of them, which was great since I was making multiple towers. Are they the sturdiest material? No, but they do the job. Even in the sun and being kept outdoors year round, they've held up relatively well for three years. They can be a bit brittle though, so if you bump into them hard, uh, the edges will crack, especially as they age. They do need to be watered every day during the growing season. The plants will definitely dry out in there and there really isn't a lot of soil, so you need to stay on top of fertilizing and watering. In the second year, you might see a decline in the healthier plants as the roots take up all of the space in those little cups. So you might want to replant with fresh soil every couple years. Uh, I ended up uh, adding irrigation to mine after the first season. I've really liked the space saving aspect uh, of these towers and I've grown quite a bit of fruit in these, but the plants aren't as healthy or productive as those in ground. Uh, but if you don't have the space, they're a great option. And I probably don't fertilize as much as I should. So that's probably a part of it. So this might be another downside, but after the first year, the runners will take over all of the space on the ground there below the berries. Uh, but you can always pull them up and replace any dead spots in your tower with these, so maybe it's a, a good thing. But it can look a little messy if uh, you don't clean it up. Okay, so how to build these. First, we are going to drill a half inch hole in the center for the rebar we're going to use to support the tower. Then we're going to drill or punch out the drain holes in each of the plant cups. If you use two hands instead of just one, like me, since I was also holding the camera, uh, then you'll have much less cracking and breakage. I'm doing several towers and planning on six or seven levels for each one. I'll be putting bare root strawberries in these. You can see they're ready to go. We've got all our holes drilled. These Dollar Tree planters have three cups each, and each cup is about six inches by six inches. All right, so I am going to plant some strawberries in these Dollar Tree uh, stackable planters. We'll see how they work. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Uh, <laughs> they kind of cracked a little bit, some of them. Not all of them, maybe like 10% cracked when I drilled uh, through the holes. So they came with holes that you could punch out, but sometimes punching them out would crack them. And then I also drilled a hole right through here so that I can put a piece of rebar down into the ground because these are not going to stand up on their own when they are stacked. They're going to be pretty flimsy and they might fall over. These are just bare root strawberries that I got from our local, from one of our local nurseries. So I think there's 20 or 25 of each variety here. So. Okay, so just going to fill all of these up with some potting mix. I like uh, Pro Mix better than most of the other options out there that are easy to find at our, you know, big box stores. Uh, you can use whatever you want, but just don't use garden soil. It's far too dense for container gardening. When you plant strawberries, you want the crown to be just above the soil line, not buried below it, or it can rot, but not sticking uh, up too high so that it flops around and the roots get exposed. <laughs> so yeah, I may have gotten a little carried away with the number of strawberries. So this is just a 3 8 inch by about, I think it's a four foot. Yeah, I'm five foot. So this is a four foot by three eighths inch piece of rebar. And I'm gonna pound it into the ground, maybe about a foot and a half. Good. 
then we're gonna stack these. Pretty good. You can either pound this down further or add another level to the, uh, the stack, but I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. So the total cost to do a tower project like this, uh, so the cost of the planters from Dollar Tree, including accounting for 10 to 15% breakage, um, cost of the rebar and cost of potty mix, all of that ended up costing me less than $15 per tower. I did several towers uh, and it was definitely worth it if you're getting that case of the, uh, the Dollar Tree planters. I think I did 10 towers. Um, so that, that $15 cost doesn't include the cost of the bare root strawberry plants, which was something like 10 or $15 for a bundle of 25. And I needed 18 plants per six level tower. I added some fertilizer to each plant, then some wood chips for mulch, and they started growing really well that first spring. I got berries from many of those plants the very first summer. You can see the plants look pretty healthy and happy at this point since we haven't gotten any crazy heat yet and the roots haven't grown to their, um, their full space. This is the next year and they're still going strong. Maybe slightly less happy, um, because I probably needed to fertilize more, but I did get irrigation hooked up by this point, so they really liked that. But you can see all of the runners going crazy on the ground. Some varieties produced uh, more runners than others, but the productive life of a strawberry plant is usually only three years anyway. So the runners are just new plants to replace their parents. So I'll probably um, amend and add soil to each cup when I replace it with a runner. Anyway, I hope this video on uh, making Dollar Tree strawberry towers and growing strawberries vertically for pretty cheap in small spaces was helpful to you.